So I was interrupted because the phone was cut short. And their interference, they hacked my phone. Actually, I'm supposed to have a lot more memory on my phone than I have. And since they interfered, this is an example of one who slackens worth his brother to one who destroys. Everyone sinks lower to the extreme, is more emasculated, and has set the stage for them and their offspring to suffer more in the afterlife and their ancestors and so on and so forth. Okay, and since they do bitch shit to try to make it seem like I'm scared of them or something, it increases more. You see how they think it's a smart move and their kind of control freak insistence on their social orders just makes it worse for them? That's an example of what not to do for them, you know, them doing what not to do and why it's some bitch ass shit. Their martial arts systems, their religions, what have you, they don't have heart, they don't have masculinity, they don't have sense. Right? See how it kind of starts with sense, you know, wisdom, sense, a discerning heart. They can't make those simple calls to leave the most righteous person ever alone and then they try to act bad and so on and they just keep digging it deeper right it's fucking pathetic anyway so he made darkness his covering around him out of the brightness of his presence clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning so in Isaiah 30 it says the Lord will cause people to hear his majestic voice and will make them see his arm coming down with raging anger and consuming fire with cloud burst, thunderstorm, and hail. So you see, if it's consumed, it's the fire of the presence of God. It consumes the enemies of God. So you need to rally to me, which I am the point the fire enters the world. No one has the spirit of God in them but me. I am the light of the world, the fire of the world. I am the gate. Okay, Jesus says in the Bible, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? You have to obey. Obey, Obi, Kuro, Obi, Black Belt, King Har Hut Temple, Center Core, right? Not the Japanese or the Chinese or the Koreans or the Filipinos or so on and so forth. It is me, right? The, the source of martial arts, the source and the force, if you will, okay? It is the king of, the martial king of the Ebos, who's the king of kings of all of humanity, this particular tribe that has the alpha line of humanity, not some arrogant English people, not some arrogant Jews. You get it, okay? So again, we'll go over this real quickly. I'm going to shoot through this because the phone's going to cut out again soon if I don't hurry up. So uh, Psalm 18.9, he parted the heavens and came down. Darkness, excuse me, uh, dark clouds were under his feet. He made the cherub, he mounted the cherubim and flew. He sorted on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering around him. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hail, stones, and bolts of lightning. Again, they interrupted me. You can read it for yourself. Psalm 18.9-12, uh, through 12. again. They're following fucking bitches that I'm mad enough to hear the most righteous person that ever lived, okay, say what he's got to say. So they act like fucking sniveling racist Jewish fraternity geeks and their white racist friends like in the Klan. The Klan was historically whites, Jews, and LGBT people, okay? One of the things they covered up is the buck breaking of the slave process. That's what they call it, buck breaking when they raped a slave in the butt. So a lot of these guys raped slaves in the butt and ended up joining the Klan, okay? And they became kind of controlled opposition. The pagan system that basically started the churches, a bunch of gay guys and their allies, and they raped people, and they said, how serious are you about the Bible? And then they persecuted you, raped you, and executed you, burned you alive, and did all kinds of things to enforce the LGBT and white supremacist cultures of Europe. Okay, if you don't know that I'm right immediately when you hear it, there's something wrong with you, okay? All right, so, you know, homosexuals, depending on their deeds, I don't necessarily hate them more than anyone else. You see what I'm saying? It's by your deeds is how much... God hates you, and if God hates you, obviously I hate you, and it's logic and justice and ba and common sense and better that will bring you to these conclusions. Anyway, so for Psalm 104.2, the Lord upholds himself in light as, excuse me, the, the Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment, okay? So in Isaiah 63, it talks about how I will trample, and I've been trampling, the people of the world, their souls and their blood, their spiritual blood, if you will, okay, the blood of their souls stains my garment. That's what creates the cloud. As I'm trampling them, everyone's acting like a bitch going, fuck you, and it's hard to say what's going on. So this kind of storm-like situation occurs, okay, and the, the, you know, as I eventually die and pass over, okay, the light, uh, my garments of light and righteousness are, metaphorically speaking, stained with blood. But, it, you know, it gets washed off no problem. That's not a problem for me. That's a problem for them. So it's stained crimson. Crimson for the color of their sin, the, their sinful blood. So Psalm 104, 2. The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment. Of course, the devil interprets that as his satanic worldly son, okay, 
you know, it passing control over the planet, passing over to him, which is a complete laughable interpretation. He's the Lord of the flies, the worms that are left, and not true spiritual. It doesn't have true spiritual power, and he's, you know, so it's called of the flesh bullshit. You get, you get what they're getting at, okay? So they, they see themselves as this, this referring to them, and they act like trans-filled Greco-Roman idiots, kind of Greek fraternity idiots, kind of Masonic fools with aprons, like you know, kind of goofy people. Don't take life seriously. Don't man up. Don't understand what it means to be a warrior. Can separate the difference between a divine warrior. And and a soldier and a brute and a, and a kind of geek soldier. I mean, they're, they're just idiots, okay? So Psalm 104.2, the Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment, okay? Uh, and of course, they also talk about trampling the courts of justice, right? In Isaiah 1, I believe it is, it says, why you trample the courts of justice? So it's the, the devil, from their interpretation, is getting rid of any semblance of justice while they rape and kill everybody. And you see in Isaiah 